On Martin Besser Drive this afternoon, it's my pleasure to welcome lead singer of Kinky Robots, Martin. Welcome on the show. Thank you. All right, so now tell me, where did it all start? Seriously? Where did it all start? Whoa, someone did their homework. Well prepared interview. Where did it all start? It's like Radio 101. First thing they teach you to ask an interview. Where did it all start? And then they urge you to leave it right there with Radio 101. Dude, seriously. Um, check out our biography. It's, it's on our website, you know. So it's like on Facebook, there's a thing called info or whatever. I mean, you know. Whatever. Okay, now here's something that I think everyone wants to know. Where does the name Kinky Robot come from? Woohoo! There's a question that we haven't been asked. Not really. Where did the name Kinky Robot come from? Everyone asks that question like they're expecting to hear some sinister answer. Kinky Robot. Um, but it, it, it's not that sinister. It's James came up with it. Um, blah blah blah. It's really, where have you been? We've covered that. Do you have any like interesting questions? Okay, cool. Um, here's, here's something interesting. Something I've always, always wanted to know. What did Hobie make you do? <sighs> what did Hobie make you do? There's another new question. <laughs> um, Hobie made me uh, cancel third world debt. Uh, Hobie made me buy a dishwasher. Okay, cool. <sighs> well then, let's talk about your music. Um, how would you classify your music? How would we classify our music? You think about it. Okay, cool. Well, how about that? Then we'll leave it up to the music department, I suppose, to, uh, to think about that one. Uh, Let's talk about uh, inspiration for the band. What kind of South African bands do you guys like? Favorite South African band? Um, oh, everyone always answers this question so diplomatically. Kinky Robot. It's my favorite South African band. The only band. You gotta love it. That's it. Um, okay, explain to me how you felt when the call came through that you're nominated for a Sama. In the record of the year, can uh, when the call came through that you guys were on that for a song, uh, I was like, "Yeah, obviously, da, it's a good song." We don't have an album yet, so you know it's not like we could go into any other category. So we had to, you know, be happy with with record of the year. That's cool. Well, the most important thing is that you, you know, you're humble about it. All right, so. You're looking forward to performing at the Summers, um, you know, live on television, SABC One. You think? It must be a big thing for you guys. Seriously? No, we're not excited. Something we do every week. Perform. Of course, we are. You know, happy about performing live at the Summers. Uh, you know, who wouldn't be? I mean, it's not like you've done it, have you? Well, this radio show is live every afternoon, Monday through to Friday. High five! Well done! No? Alright, well, the last question for you. Something that's quite close to my heart and the rest of the team's hearts is uh, charity work. Do you guys get involved with any charity work? Do you do gigs for charity? Dude, an English rock band is a charity. <laughs> no, okay, seriously, yeah, we do. We do. Um, we uh, love supporting charities, especially charities that, that look after uh, kids and animals because uh, we absolutely cannot understand how anyone would neglect or yeah. abuse them yeah. and uh, we do as much as we can to, to support them. Right. We've got a gig coming up in four ways uh, next month uh, for SPCA and we like to get involved with uh, Stop Rhino Poaching campaign. Oh, so do we. Seriously? Well, yeah, that's one thing we have in common then, I suppose. That's amazing. Maybe, maybe you should have started with this question. Honestly, it's the only interesting question you've asked. No, really, it is. Seriously. So you're gonna edit this interview? We're live. 
It's live? Yeah. Really? Okay. I think we're done, though. Is that it, then? Yep. Thanks for coming in. Nothing? That's all you had? Uh, I think it was Okay, enough. cool. Well, let me move on to the next interview. Okay, I think you do that. And ask me about where it all start. Where does the band's name come from? Why don't you just get the f*** out of here, honestly? It's not like you're that big. You just got started. But unfortunately, you run out of time, as per usual. So we'll cut that one short. Seriously, what do you have? You're not even going to win that category. Cheers, Seriously. Man. Thanks. What are your chances? It's not like they know your band. It's not like you freaking U2 or even Barletones. People want to know where the band get its name. Not everyone goes onto the stupid website to read about that stuff. That's why we get you in for an interview on radio so people can learn the stuff. What do you expect me to ask him? What was your inspiration for the room? It's not like you even write the songs. Just write the words. Anyone can write words. It's the tune that matters. No, seriously, that's really honestly. I should have gotten James Nelson in for the interview. What a...